Sign up to The Economist for in-depth curated expert analysis of world events and topics ranging from business and culture to science and technology. You'll get the weekly digital edition, online-only articles, curated newsletters on politics, the markets, science, culture and China, and full access to The Economist Podcast Plus. The Economist is independent journalism for independent thinking. Go to economist.com and get your first month free. Today on CityCast Madison. Madison just enjoyed a full week of biking events for Madison Bike Week 2024. And let's be honest, one week alone doesn't cut it for capturing all that's available here in our biking community. For example, did you know that right outside Madison in DeForest, there's a highly accessible, high caliber BMX racetrack? One of only four official tracks in the state, and it's home to Madtown BMX. Turns out that this year they're hosting the state BMX championship races. So we sat down with the track operator, Brian Stoffer, to learn more about the organization and what they've got lined up for this year. It's Wednesday, June 12th. I'm Bianca Martin, and here's what Madison's talking about. Hi, Brian. Hi there. How are you? I'm doing really well. Excited to talk about some awesome sports. So a longtime reader of our newsletter, Madison Minutes, wrote us, Troy. And he asked us to talk about a quote, little BMX field of dreams. (laughs) I like it. (laughs) He said it's a big year for Madtown BMX and more folks should know about it. So what's making it a big year? Like what's happening in your world? So this year is a little more exciting than most years. Every year we do host a Wisconsin State Qualifier Race. This year we earned the chance to host the Wisconsin State Championship Race also. So in Wisconsin, that's a pretty big deal. We're excited about that opportunity. And then also in the world of BMX, there's what they call a Gold Cup Series. It's kind of an extra level series that racers can do if they choose. And we got the chance to host the regional final championship race for that in September. So those are a couple of big races that we haven't been able to host before. And we're looking forward to that. That's awesome. And, you know, he said he wants more people to know about this little field, little BMX field of dreams. Like, is this a hidden gem in our area? Kind of. Um, It is somewhat hidden. So we are just west of the village of DeForest, across the interstate from DeForest. And we're kind of tucked in behind some industrial spots and cornfields. So we've been there 14 years. And, you know, we still get a lot of people we run into in DeForest. They're like, oh, we never knew you were out there. So it is somewhat of a hidden gem for sure. Yeah. And so that's like off of I-39 that are saying. Yeah, it's right at I. Do you know where the pink elephant is on Highway V? Yes. Yeah. Are, all right. All right. That's your exit. <laughs> you get off at the pink elephant and go <laughs> south. And then, okay. uh, then you couldn't miss us. I understand you guys just kicked off your season. That we races did. have begun. And it, I understand you, you have races. You also have practice nights where people can just come and bike and have fun. But I do want to talk about the the races because, as you said, it's a big year. Can you tell us, like, what does your race schedule look like? Mostly we're in the summer. We start in May. We end in October. So while school is in session, um, we have races Wednesday nights, Saturday mornings. As soon as school gets out, then we have races Wednesday night and Friday night. Every Tuesday during our season, that's our practice night or it's an open ride night from six to eight every Tuesday. So racers can come out on Tuesdays and work on their race moves, I guess you'd say, techniques, things like that. But we also get a lot of people just looking for a place to ride a bike that's cool on Tuesday nights. You know, some of the mountain bike guys, they're not racers, but they want to come out and ride our track. Yeah. But BMX is always like the cool daddy of all of the biking. It was like, okay, they're they're doing the tricks. They're doing, you know, they're doing a lot right. of cool things. But I am rusty and I've never been to one of these races. Like what what is BMX biking? What does that involve? Like what what makes it? Excellent question. And that is something that comes up a lot because there are 
uh, their BMX can be the stunt riding, the tricks, the quarter pipes, the things like that. But what we do is the BMX racing, um, where it, it's there's no you know there's jumping involved, but no tricks or anything like that. It's a, a dirt track. It's a quarter of a mile long, and it has various features or obstacles. You know, there a jump, a ramp, uh, a roller, uh, you know, banked turns, things like that. So that's what the racing is. I mean, a, a BMX race lasts, depending on how fast you are, you know, two minutes, maybe. It, it's a pretty short duration, actual race. Okay. So it's not like golf. You're not waiting all day. This is, it is this not is like kind of golf. immediate. It, it's not <laughs> like, you know, there, there are mountain biking teams. You know, a lot of the high schools have mountain biking teams. Some of those events are like hours long. You know, you spend all day there on your bike, out in the woods or whatever else, um, racing. If it's a big race, you might be there all day. But most of our race nights, you're only there for an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And again, you would do two or three, we call them motos or laps around. And each one of those, maybe two minutes. So it's short bursts of intense energy, followed by a little time to wait until it's your turn again. Mm -hmm. And that's what, so it's it's bicycle motocross, right? That's what Exactly. Like. Yeah. Yep. Think motocross, but with pedals instead of engines. Yeah. Yeah. In my mind, is it is this is it an extreme sport? I don't know if I'm. I'm I don't making... think so. I don't. <laughs> I would not call it an extreme sport. There's not a there's not a high level of danger. It's easily accessible for anybody to do. So it might be cool to call it an extreme sport, but I don't think it applies. That's not the X and the BMX. <laughs> no, we'll leave that to somebody else. Yeah. And so, okay, so you've got regular races and you've got the state championship race coming up and that'll be later this year. What does that look like that day? Can you walk us through it? For sure. So, so that day, any of the racers in Wisconsin who are interested in earning a state number plate um, or, or a championship plate, they race in qualifier races during the summer at the other there are a total of four bmx tracks in wisconsin so they race at qualifiers at those tracks and then on the day of the championship they come to madtown bmx for the final championship race it's actually a whole weekend thing we have some of the racing friday night racing all day saturday and then we wrap up sunday morning and it's just a chance for any of those kids or adults who see where they stand in the state of Wisconsin, they can do the state series and uh, try to earn that number one number plate. Okay, wow. So there's a range of ages who are competing. Yes. I think last year our youngest rider at the track was two years old, and I think our oldest was 67 years old. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I mean, and they're, they're, they're not all there out there to get. We don't have the two year old next to the 18 year old next to the 67 year old. You know, they are broken out into classes, but yeah, it's all ages. Everybody is welcome out there. I love all, that. All, all skill levels too. Ryan Reynolds here from Mint Mobile. With the price of just about everything going up during inflation, we thought we'd bring our prices down. So to help us, we brought in a reverse auctioneer, which is apparently a thing. Mint Mobile Unlimited Premium Wireless. Ready to get 30, 30, ready to get 30, ready to get 20, 20, 20, ready to get 20, 20, ready to get 15, 15, 15, 15, just 15 bucks a month. So give it a try at mintmobile.com slash switch. $45 up front for three months plus taxes and fees. Promo rate for new customers for limited time. Unlimited more than 40 gigabytes per month. Slows. Full terms at mintmobile.com. This episode is brought to you by Shopify. Whether you're selling a little or a lot. Shopify helps you do your thing, however you cha-ching. From the launch your online shop stage, all the way to the we just hit a million orders stage. No matter what stage you're in, Shopify's there to help you grow. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash special offer, all lowercase. That's shopify.com slash special offer. Also, headed into the competitions, like how's Madison BMX looking? Like, are, do we have some rough riders? Are we a competitive crop? Well, everybody was looking really good. They are excited to be there. They're having fun. They're competing. They're all excited to see their friends from last season. We're, we're looking good. We're excited about it. We are just cannot wait to get a break in the weather where we can get our track in really good shape and race like we want to. Yeah, that 
these storms of late have I can uh, I can imagine that they've done a number on the track. Back in February, we had that great weather, and we thought, oh, this is going to be the best year ever. We're going to be so ready. We're going to be starting a month early, and it's just been the opposite. It's just, you know, it was cold and snowy late, and then, you know, again, it's a dirt track. So any good rainstorm is going to wash out some of that dirt. As soon as we can in the season, we actually apply a layer of glue. It's a special road-building glue, but we put that on the dirt surface to hold it together and to repel the rain but we haven't had good enough weather to even get that glue surface on. So right now it's just loose dirt. Every time it rains, it gets washed out. And then it's rakes, shovels, and wheelbarrows trying to whip it back into shape. My goodness. This this sounds like a labor of love. That, I second that statement. It's, uh, it's definitely labor. I definitely love it. But yeah, it's, it's hard work. And again, I mean, that's we're entirely volunteer dependent. And without those volunteers, we just can't make it happen. So yeah. And so can you talk a little bit more about like why you you love this sport? Like why BMX? I did it when I was a kid, 40 years ago when I was, you know, 10, 11, 12, whatever. I really enjoyed it, have good memories of it. But I also, I like bicycles. When I was a kid, you know, your bike was freedom. It was independence. You could go where you wanted. You could do what you wanted when you're on your bike at 10 years old. So I've just always liked bicycles and for whatever reason, BMX just appealed to me. It's something, again, I have really good memories of it. I want to share that with the kids and families today. So plus I'm 50 years old. You know, my kids are 19 and 17. I have time on my hands, you know, like what else would I be doing if it wasn't for the BMX track and be driving the people crazy around my house here. So. <laughs> Well, people can't see you, but I can. You also have like a Socrates beard, like <laughs> like uh, wisdom. Yes, very jealous. <laughs> I, I thought it was Yukon Cornelius, but I'll take Socrates. Oh, Remember Yukon Cornelius from the Christmas cartoon? <laughs> yeah, I right, love it. Right. And you know, and I love I love the memories of the your early memories biking. It is that it is freedom. I feel like one of my core memories was on my like three wheeler. I was probably four years old, and I you know the freedom going around the hills. Yeah, yeah, and I know that that's really shared across Madison. Like Madison, I think of it, and it's not just me. It is a a bike friendly city, and it's a biker city. I have personally heard less about the BMX biking scene, so I'm really like grateful that we can talk about. It. Do you feel like um, the sort of commuter bikes and the biking scene in Madison overlaps with BMX biking at all? Honestly, I don't see that. We would love for that overlap to be there. And we certainly, we try, you know, we're always trying to do outreach and let people know that we're out there. You know, we do parades, you know, we show up in parades. This year we're doing like a booth of cows on the concourse. Um, we are a booth of cows on the concourse. Well, at, no, we're a booth of bikes. So just a booth of okay. One, one of our <laughs> one of our volunteers, Scott Pabelski, he loves cows. So Scott said, "Hey, we can do cows on the concourse. All these people are going to be out there. We can set up a Madtown BMX tent and just spread the word. You know, just let people know that we're there. We'll do some kind of theme or something." So we've set up some, I think Scott's planning on having 10 BMX bikes on trainers that are being donated by Saris um, so the kids can get on a bike. And then he's setting up like a big screen TV of a video on the racetrack so they can get on a race bike, they can pedal on the trainer, and then they'll see in front of them what it looks like to race around Madtown BMX track. So nice. we're doing that. Yeah, we're doing that at Cows in the Concourse. And then we're also, June is Dairy Month. So again, our volunteer Scott set up a really cool series just for fun. It's our Madtown Dairy Mayhem series. And he's lined up like, you know, one one night in June, we're gonna have free free string cheese, one night free ice cream. One night they're actually Say gonna no more. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> right. Who can argue with free ice cream? One night we're gonna have a cow at the track so the kids can see a cow up close, you know, a, a photo op with a cow, just things like that. So. It's so Wisconsin. I love it. Oh, so, yeah. But it, it's all about, you know, again, those Madison is such a bike centric community. Everybody in Madison loves bikes. And, you know, we're just trying to let people know, you know, if they are on the bike path, if they are at Camrock Park doing the trails, hey, don't forget about us. Come give us a try. You know, maybe you'll love BMX, maybe you won't. But 
at least they know we're here and maybe we can make that connection and yeah and it sounds like it's also it's got to be a good exercise to race <laughs> absolutely <laughs> on that di- it's on you the know dirt. the racing is a good exercise and it, it's also a good incentive to to train you know when you're not racing in the off season to say hey I can't just sit in the chair with my bag of potato chips. You know, I got to stay in shape for that race. It's definitely a fitness thing also. Yeah. Well, I love and I love that you guys are really welcoming new writers. I also saw that you guys offer loaners, you know, for people who are trying to just get started. For sure. BMX, uh, in my opinion, my experience is a very affordable sport. But still, we work very hard to make it as accessible as possible. So we do have we have 30 racing bicycles that are available as free loaner bikes for anybody that needs to use one we have an equal number of free loaner helmets so they're you know that they can use the helmets anytime they're at the track for free it, it's you know really the only thing they need to show up with is you know jeans and a long sleeve shirt uh, the other safety gear the helmet we can provide yeah so and so those like tuesday nights those tuesday tuesday practice nights seem like a good space for that to try to get your feet wet Hopefully not in the muddy dirt. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, figuratively, not literally. Yeah, Tuesday yeah. nights are a great chance to just come out and get the vibe, you know, see what it's about. You know, I tell people even maybe the first time, don't even plan on riding. Just come out, watch, talk to the people, get a hot dog or some chips or nachos from the concession stand. Everybody loves a good concession stand. We also work really hard. We have beginner leagues. One of our volunteers, Brad Pinchart, and another one, Brian Baldus, they run our beginner leagues where twice a year we have these sessions. We have 30 kids and I want to say four or five parents that are going to be doing that beginner league where there's five coaching sessions where we can ease them into things. You know, sometimes it's kind of intimidating. You know, a kid comes to the track, he's never done it. He sees these 16-year-old experts flying around the track. So it's it's an opportunity for us to take them from, you know, square one. Hey, here's the basics, work on this, work on that. And then after those five weeks, you know, they've got the confidence and the skills that we can turn them loose in a regular race. Yes. Do you have any favorite memories from your time, like as track manager or even when you were doing BMX? One of my favorite things is when we do get, a, it's usually a younger rider or a newer rider and he comes up to the track there's a hill that you start on with a gate and the starting gate can be a little loud, but some of these kids come out and they're a little bit afraid of it. We work really hard with them and their parents, you know, we'll, we'll clear everybody else out. We'll say the gates all yours, take it slow, take it easy. We really, it's so exciting at the end of the night. Now that kid is running back up the hill because he did it or she did it. You know, she's got that confidence. She was afraid of something and she worked at it. And she overcame it. So that's one of my favorite things is just seeing them have that confidence, you know, achieve that thing. It's beautiful. And, you know, you shared a little bit at the top about when you have races. Is there a place folks can go um, to see a schedule and keep track of of what what you guys are up to? For sure. MadtownBMX.com. That's our website. Um, a lot of other good information gets shared on our Facebook page. Those are the first two places um, I would suggest to anybody. MadtownBMX.com and MadtownBMX on Facebook. Well, Brian, I so appreciate you coming and telling us about Madtown BMX and this hidden gem. Maybe it'll be a little less hidden now after this conversation. I want to come check it out. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I enjoyed talking to you. We'd love to have you come out again. Even if it's even if you're not going to race, it's just, you know, come out on a summer Friday night, you know, beautiful night. People are hanging out for sure. Come on out and see us. That's Brian Stoffer, Madtown VMX track operator. If you want to learn more about Madtown BMX and their race schedules, head to our show notes for a link. <laughs> That's all for today here on CityCast Madison. I'm Bianca Martin. If you enjoyed the show, why not share this episode with the most avid biker you know? Okay, we'll be back tomorrow morning with more stories from around the city. Until then, take good care and don't get afraid to ride dirty.